Hello Capricorn, this is your March 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Capricorns, so please keep that in mind. But this is for Capricorn, March 2019, full Celtic cross, the general energies of Capricorn that watch YouTube uh, tarot readings. But this is for Capricorn, like I said, March 2019. I do uh, meditate on your sign before I even start this video, and I shuffle then, too, also. But we're going to see what the general energies are. And if they're negative in any way, we will work it out. We will try to find a remedy. I'm hoping for a positive reading, though. King of Wands. You may be dealing with the King of Wands. This could be a fire sign. This could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do not assign just one sign to the court cards because I am reading for the masses as a general reading, not personal readings. Personal readings are a little different. Sorry about this shadow here. Starting to get a little changing of the day. But we got the Three of Wands as a subject at hand. You feel like um, something hasn't come in positive the way you wanted it to you were looking for new things or or things that you were passionately uh searching for or hoping for to come in and you feel like they're not coming in the way you want them to was crossing it the two of wands also decision making uh be able to choose between two different things that you want so there's some difficulties there decision-making and things coming in the way you want them to. The goal is the emperor. You want to rule well. You want to control the situation and the things in your life well. And I will clarify all these. Foundation. I'm getting the magician a lot, no matter how much I shuffle these cards. Magician in reverse, though. Dealing with manipulative behaviors. Dealing with someone that is manipulative or you're being manipulative. It can go either way. In the past, you had hope for something. You were wishing for something. Near future, you, you may take a break. You may go on vacation. You may just rest a while. Some of you may be feeling a little ill and may need to recuperate to get your energies back up. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. It's dealing with somebody that is a possible air sign or someone that is very wise, but at the same time their words cut deep and sharp and they go out to, to do so, you know, to hurt you with their words. They could be upset for some, something you did or they, you know, from manipulative behavior or they did something. Outside influences independence environment it's the outside environment or what is coming towards you independence new financial gain this is something of your card considering we we are reading for capricorn so you know this energy well or this energy knows you well and gain is possibly coming towards you Hopes and fears dealing with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hell, have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse or the Queen of Swords in reverse. These people are very hard to get along with when they're upset. So you, maybe you fear that this uh, someone that is the Queen of Wands is very upset and uh, can really have a short temper and fly off the handle if you're not careful. The ending energy is the sun in reverse. It's not the worst card in the world. Reverse, it just means you're not quite 100% happy with the situation. Manipulative behaviors. Even though you've got gain coming your way, you're dealing with manipulative people. Okay, so now you got the three of wands and the two of wands as a subject at hand. We're going to find out why they're there. Three of wands, two of wands, why are you there for Capricorn coming in March of 2019? What is going on? Victory. You're trying to gain a victory. You're waiting for something to come in so you can gain a victory. 
They give you more options and choices in your life, stable ones, ones that you're passionate about and like them, you know, things that you really want. Can I get another card for the Three of Wands, Two of Wands, and a Six of Wands? A lot of fire here. A lot of you may be very well dealing with a fire sign. A lot of passion and energy anyway. Yeah, there you go, the Two of Wands again. You're unable to make decisions because something hasn't come in. You're wanting it to come in. You're wanting this victory. It's, it's wants and needs. That's the subject at hand. The goal is the emperor. Taking control. Getting on top of things. Being the emperor. The emperor. Why are you there for Capricorn? And also some of you can be dealing with an Aries. But this is more of control. Taking control in your life and domination back. The Emperor, why are you there as the goal or what crowns Capricorn? There's um, gain again. Taking control and getting gain. You got gain coming towards you for sure. Can I get another card to, for the Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles? Both in the upright as the goal. Sometimes the goal is also the outcome. Yeah. You're trying to working so hard for everything you're getting with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you worked very hard before and you felt like nothing was coming your way. But now with all this work, you're trying to take control with the Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles and get your gain and not work so hard to get it. Not kill yourself over it, you know. The foundation is the Magician in reverse. The Magician in reverse is uh, manipulation. Someone who knows what they're doing when they do it, too. So the Magician in Reverse, why are you there? Four of Pentacles. This manipulative behavior is holding something back with the Four of Pentacles. Could be finances. The Magician in Reverse and the Four of Pentacles, why are you there is the foundation. And something comes out. Manipulative behavior comes out. The truth comes out as the foundation it did. Now, in the past, you had hope for a situation. What did you have hope for there, Capricorn? The star in the upright. Why are you there for Capricorn in the past? Getting over heartbreak. You're hoping to get over heartbreak and, and you know, something that really broke your heart. The star card, the three of swords. Why are you there in the past for Capricorn? King of Cups. Could have to do with a water type energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is in the upright, or you're wanting this person to be in the upright. This does not have to be a water sign. Could be just someone who's emotionally sound, or you're wanting this from this person, or they're wanting this from you. Now, in the near future, you've got the Four of Swords. It's in the upright. It's taking a break, taking a rest. And recovering from your anxieties. So four swords while you're there for Capricorn. Four cups. Yeah, you're not going to accept any offers right now. You may turn down something because you need rest. Four swords in the upright. Four cups in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. Two of Cups, yeah. You may not be accepting any partnerships right now. Some of you may be feeling a little under the weather. Yeah, you're not accepting anything, anything emotional right now till you recover. It won't take you long, but you do need a break, Capricorn. You need a vacation or you need to get away. You need to go to a spa or something. Now you got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Why are you there, Queen of Swords? In reverse, as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Why are you there? For Capricorn. Hmm. Six of Cups. This person's from the past. Could be saying watch for this person from the past. Emotional energies that are kind of negative. Queen of Swords. Six of Cups. Why are you there? Both in reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, because they're not taking a break. Um... You may be dealing with the Queen of Swords from the past. This person is not going to go take a break. You may want to take a break, 
but they may not want to take a break and they may come and try to associate with you or you try to associate with them. The thing is, from the universe, you may want to take a break from this because someone else is not and the energy is just too much for you. Now you got the Nine of Pentacles heading towards you. This is gain. These are our starting of positive things that are uh, stable. So Nine of Pentacles, why are you there for Capricorn? We know that's your goal and it is heading towards you. And you're going to fight for what you're wanting. you got to fight for what you're wanting with this, this situation. You're not wanting to work too hard for it. But maybe you may have to a little bit. Or you'll have people arguing with you over your possible gain that you're getting in your life also. I got I to gotta think about that one also because that is the Five of Swords. Someone wanting to argue passionately with the Knight of Rods. So you may get messages, arguments of gain that you're receiving. People may say, why are you getting all this? Hmm, that's interesting. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Rods coming your way. Why are you there? I'm getting one more card for that. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be getting some messages, pretty, pretty fierce messages, because you're, you're gaining something, you're getting something. I've been seeing this a lot in the cards. There's some jealousy with people. People may not think that you deserve this gain that's coming your way, but you're getting it. And, and, and you may get a message that's pretty quick and pretty passionate that may lead to an argument, but you are still, like I said, taking a break, even though they may want to take you out of that break. Queen of Wands as the hopes and fears. Why are you there for Capricorn? Got a lot of people in your life, too. The world card, you're afraid something karmic doesn't end. With the world in reverse. Can I get another card for the Queen of Wands? And the world in reverse. This is hopes and fears. Why are you there? Justice. And you're hoping for justice. You're wanting justice that you feel like you deserve. But these karmic, you're afraid this karmic energy won't leave. And karmic energy is not that much fun, trust me. Now you got the sun in reverse. You're still not 100% happy. You still need to take that break. You got gain coming your way, but you're exhausted. Okay, Capricorn? You're exhausted. The sun in reverse Why you're there for Capricorn. You're feeling trapped and exhausted. You need to take a break. The sun in reverse Eight of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Capricorn is the ending energy by the Queen of Swords. You feel trapped by the Queen of Swords. So the advice, I think, from the universe is trying to over, you know, overcome the Queen of Swords by yourself taking a break. Because this person may not want you to take a break. They may want to entrap you in something. Or entrapment is going to happen and you feel like someone's trying to force you into something, a situation that is not making you happy. Could have to do with that gain. Gain is coming your way, but you got people bickering over about it with you. Your goal is to take control and gain and not work yourself to death. Do it. You are dealing with manipulative people or manipulative situations around you. For some of you, you may be doing this. Someone is holding back, even though you do notice that something is amiss and you know this. They may not know that you're doing, you, you know, but you do know. It's something someone is doing manipulative behavior. You need to take a break from this situation with the cups energy, with accepting offers right now of emotional nature, not the financial, but the emotional there's a two of cups, again, partnerships of some sort. Could be a love situation with the knight of cups. I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing other earth signs. I'm seeing water. And I'm seeing air. Could be more than dealing with more than one person or two people, I should say. Gain is coming your way, but people are going to be bickering. You fear the Queen of Wands and a karmic situation, and you want justice that, that you deserve, that you feel that you deserve. In the end, you won't be happy still in the end of March because you feel like someone's trying to entrap you. 
with the Queen of Swords. It could be with the Queen of Swords. Or you yourself are going to sit there and have your say with the Queen of Swords. She stands upright and she's intelligent and she gives sound advice. You could be taking on this energy and saying, um, I'm not happy with this. And people, I feel that will listen to you. I do see that. I, I feel that. The ending energy is the Three of Cups. After you take your break, Three of Cups says you're going to go out and celebrate. You're going to enjoy yourself with your friends and family so you can recuperate. Maybe even celebrate the gain you're getting in your life. But like I said, not everybody's going to be happy for you. So remember... Go out with friends and leave the enemies behind for now. Because you do need to recover, okay, Capricorn? And you deserve it in a way. But in the end, you're not still happy because you're feeling, feeling trapped by something. You can leave it in the comments if I have them open. But the universe is telling you to leave that behind, recover, and enjoy yourself, and let the gain come in. Don't worry about what others are saying, okay? Talk to you later. I'll let this go. Bye.